Hello fellow tat addicts and welcome back to my office. This is going to make me feel sick. Yeah, hi. It is now, uh, what day is it? Thursday. It's Thursday and I thought I would check in and uh, let you know how I've been getting on. All of that stuff, no, don't tell a lie Nick. All of that stuff, apart from the Hot Wheels, which is still sat there in a heap, <laughs> um, is listed. Everything else apart from the Hot Wheels. And we've had some instant success. So I'll quickly share, out of all that stuff I picked from the shelves, stuff I was avoiding, out of all of that, we have sold a bunch of it already. So let me show you what's gone instantly. Um, first, the Lego Adventures set. Um, which is going to a viewer, so thank you Jean for picking that up. It sold almost immediately and I was listing it in the small hours, so that surprised me. Um, but yeah, so that it was incomplete, uh, which was frustrating, um, but it was listed at £20 and that's what it sold for. Um, speaking of incomplete things, the fun fair that was missing bits. Um, Sold really quick for £10. Um, just happy to move that on. Uh, it owed me next to nothing. I bought that along with a, a stack of other games, including the vintage game of life that went on Amazon for 35 And all the games were 50p each. So it owes me next to nothing. Um, oh, next. This, again, listed yesterday. Sold straight away. This is one of the... Is it three or four um, little model kits I listed? Hello, coming in. Yeah, I was coming in to borrow the tripod, but I'll come back. You can borrow that tripod. Yeah, but it doesn't have a doodly on the top. It doesn't have a doodly on the top. Oh, you'll have to wave and say hello. <laughs> All right, I'll let you know when I'm done. Um, Where was I? Yeah, so out of the model kits I listed... Um, this one sold straight away and this was the one that's started there's only a couple of bits but a couple of bits have been taken off the the sprues and glued together but it sold quick at uh what did i get 15 i want to say yeah 15 and listed both of the mario kart sets and the first one has gone already um i think it was on at 20 yeah 20 with shipping on as well so happy to get that moving so that was really positive and then had some deliveries um let me show you this i've been um running out of void fill i tend to pick up wallpaper and i have usually a load of that in stock and i use that as void fill and yeah, because we've not been doing boot sales and jumble sales, I just haven't been sourcing it, right? So I ordered this, this is heavy. It's a great big roll of packing paper, void fill, and it pulls out the top. And I really like it. It's convenient. It just sits on the floor by my packing desk and I can pull the paper at the top. I think it was like 600 meters. Um, it's not particularly long or wide, if you like. Uh, I think it's 30 centimeters. Um, I paid 30 pounds, which feels like a lot when I know I'm just gonna scrunch it up and put it in parcels, <laughs> but I think it was worth it. So I'm pleased that's arrived. And yeah, I've been using it today and, it, and it's great. Um, the other thing that turned up, if you're into packaging and packing supplies, I um, wasn't keeping an eye on how many Royal Mail 6x4 labels I had, and I got it right down to two rolls. Nearly ran out, but 10 more arrived today. They've literally, just before I started filming, they turned up. So that's a relief. Um, so we have 
six by four labels because I have a Royal Mail um, account I actually get these for free which is fantastic so yeah that's good and one other quick shout out an order came in um, earlier and it is from Stacy so your carry-on film will be shipped out to you tomorrow it's now Thursday so next shipping day is tomorrow so what I thought I would do today was go sourcing in my stock again because that was really it was really helpful to pick that stuff on camera and uh, basically hold myself accountable to you lot by saying that I was going to list it all and get back to you with the progress so it really did inspire me to list oh I didn't share this with you hold on there's something else um, I also out of the last lot that I picked were these stranger things books listed those at 20 quid um, for the lot and they sold straight away so that was good so anyway I'm going to set you up somewhere I suppose I could leave you there I don't know We'll find somewhere to perch you and we'll find some more goodies to list. Okay, so I think that works if I sit you there. So, first thing is um, recently we cleared, I don't know, about half of our stock of Disney DVDs as one big job lot. Um, to Selena, if you're watching, thank you so much for that. Oh, and I forgot to send the book that goes with that bear that you bought as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send that through. I'll send you a message in case you don't watch this. But yeah, completely forgot to ship the book with the bear. Anyway, I'm going to make up a couple of job lots or maybe do a few individuals or little bundles. But I want to move the rest of it. So that is all of that. So that's quite a big job. I don't know how many lots that is, but I'm going to make that commitment to clear the rest of that. There must be about 50 um, Disney films there, but it needs dealing with. Next. So having sorted and listed those Mario Kart scale extracts, I'm going to force myself to deal with this one. The light is terrible here. I'm going to move you. Hold on. I'm not sure that's any better, really, but there we go. Okay, so I have a junior Scalextric set, my first Scalextric. So I don't know how long I've had this set on the shelf. So I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to get it listed. Okay, let me just adjust you so you can see down to the end of the office because that's where I'm going to go hunting for stuff. Okay, so I'm going to get these listed. This is a set of Thomas books. The packaging is really sun faded. Um, all of the colour that you can see on the end there has been bleached out by the sun. Um, it's not in very good condition. The box is split. But it needs dealing with, so we're going to do that. Okay, this is Junior Meccano. So we have this kind of go-kart thing and then two boxes of the Junior Meccano. So yeah, I've had this knocking around for ages. They were bought separately. I think all three bits were bought separately. 
Might do it as a bundle, don't know. I'll look into how well they go. I sold, I think I sold this box before. The blue one. Um, sold quick. Wasn't particularly difficult to list, but I don't know why I've, I've had these sat on the shelves for ages. So we will get those sorted. Now, I remember picking this up now. This is a Genome uh, sewing machine. When I bought it, I, I lifted it out of the box and the power pack is kind of wedged in the side of the, um, the foam insert and it fell on the floor. And then I had a long discussion with the seller about do they have the power pack um, and they were like I think it should be in there etc and it was sat on the floor by my feet the whole time anyway um, yeah I paid very little for this I think not even sure it was a fiver I think it was less than a fiver um, so we will get that tested and listed perfect giftable item for Christmas Right, let me bring you nearer, I think. It's actually starting to look really sparse. Look at that shelf there. Apart from that big pulty um, steam cleaner thing, there's not much left there. I'll tell you what would be a good item to get listed is down here, that box. So Christmas is coming and a lot of people will be thinking about preparing Christmas dinner and they'll be um, realising they don't have the correct equipment or that their blender, food processor, whatever is broken and they will be replacing them. So I reckon a good a time as any to get this Moulinex MasterChef listed is now. Now this I bought at a car boot sale in a rain storm um, and it's brand new inside the box is a bit worn and show you know it's got shelfware but yeah inside it's brand new I think I paid I, think I paid 10 for it so we will get that listed um, no testing involved because it is brand new in the box I might fire it up just to double check that it's okay but yeah should be some good money in that don't really remember buying this I'll be honest this is Brio ah very cool Perfect. So it's a little Brio uh, builder system uh, kit that makes a racing car. Okay, so I think I will go with that. I don't want to bite off more than I can chew and feel a bit overwhelmed with how much stuff I've pulled out, but I think that's about right. So I've got the Disney DVDs going to make some decisions on those either do a couple of bundles or yeah just make decisions get them moving the blender scale extric books um, the junior Meccano the sewing machine and what was the last one? Oh yeah the Brio set down the end there so there you go I will get all of that sorted tested photographed and listed hopefully by the end of tomorrow that'll be my plan so there we go I hope you enjoyed that we'll end on a little spin round if you didn't feel sick at the beginning maybe you will now take care I'll see you soon drop